Welcome back everybody. It's been, I don't know, it's probably been a month since I've been out on the job with Rick. We've got a little short two day job here, but it's gonna be a pain in the ass. So you know how Rick and I typically are. We may not mess with the biggest toys, but we do get some interesting technical jobs and that's exactly what we've got here today. So our tools of the trade, we've got our little SK35 there and we got our little dingo behind. And what we're doing is this lot, I don't know if you can really grasp how close we are to the water, I'm standing maybe a foot, a foot and a half above the water line for the lake. And uh, the homeowner has issues with his house flooding, which is a shocker, I know. Uh, and so we're making an attempt at, at helping with that problem in the best way we can. So that's what we're gonna make an attempt at here today and part of tomorrow is getting this all installed and dialed in so this guy's house won't flood as bad. Yeah. So with that being said, I'm going to go throw on the GoPro Probably gonna set up a time lapse for a lot of this because like the little dingo, I don't know how well we're gonna be able to film it, but we'll figure something out. So I'll catch you guys in or on a machine here shortly. All right, everybody. This is my first time running a dingo, so we're gonna figure this out together. pretty cool little machine I gotta I gotta be honest I've never run one of these before this is pretty pretty sweet so I've got all of my boom and bucket controls on the right this is your PTO or not your PTO your auxiliary hydraulics uh, you've got your throttle in the middle and then this is just your tracks uh, you know similar to like a skid steer or something where the left controller operates your left track right controller operates your right track. Oh, we're gonna hit some tree roots in here. It's gonna be a good time. Where does it come out of the house? I don't even see the outlet for the sump. It's probably underground the whole way. It's probably underground the whole way. You can't even see where it comes out of the house. Yeah, that's caked full. All right, guys, I'm gonna clip, I'm gonna flip the cameras off for a little bit while we figure this out. I'll catch you in a little bit. I'm gonna give you guys a quick update. You know, I don't wanna leave you hanging. Um, we're not convinced this is the sump pump. It possibly is, probably is, but we're not 100%. Uh, but literally, you can see they primed it. Uh, in fact, I'll get you in closer so you can see there is primer on there. But with how easy that fitting popped off, I don't think they ever actually glued that, or if they did, they didn't let the glue set. Because uh, if you've ever worked around PVC before, uh, once they come apart, once you've glued them properly, it actually breaks the pipe. It won't just pop off like it did. So uh, we're gonna clean this up and re-glue it, and then we will continue on our merry way trenching back there. So yeah, we'll catch you guys here in a bit. All right, everybody, we have got our two lines trenched. You can kind of see them way out there. Uh, we're going to start digging in the structure now. So I am back in the hole, and away we go. I'm good at rhyming, don't you know, don't you know? Grab a bag of popcorn and watch this. All right, I'm all done. I'm all done, guys. I'm sorry. Dun, 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 dun. I wonder if YouTube will pop me for using the uh, Indiana Jones theme song there. Gotta try and save that Homer bucket. What'd you say, F the Homer bucket? Man, Rick acting like Homer buckets grow on trees. I wish we were all as, I wish we were all as wealthy as Rick. Feel the raw power of the SK35. What was that? Okay, look like a piece of PVC. Uh, is it the manhole? No oh, f that. Oh boy. Leaving a pile? Leaving a pile of salt. Yep. Look, boy, look at the color of that water. That's healthy. That's right. I 
How much more we need to go? How much more you got? Yeah. Hey, there ain't nowhere to put it. I don't want to flood the house again. <laughs> Did I get you? No. Then I haven't put enough effort in. <laughs> Sticky stuff. How much more you got, Rick? Still. Oh, nothing. I'm just keep doing what you're doing, Rick. You want a fine job. So basically, this is our sump hole that we're making. We're drilling a bunch of holes in it because, as you can see, uh, we're fighting, you know, the entire lake worth of groundwater. So Rick is drilling holes in this, and because his uh, bit keeps getting stuck. Ooh, he almost took my finger on that one. Because um, his bit keeps getting stuck. I'll pass it back. Are you pulling or no? I just watching my fingers you almost took me on the last one <laughs> all right guys we're gonna keep it this uh, eventually that's gonna go in the hole and then that there pump is gonna go in it I'll show you guys the finished product when we get there we're gonna try this again because my GoPro battery died um, we're back filling we have changed our design a little bit so if you recall let me spin around here and try not to take out our our dingo Hmm. we're gonna go another way here so we were gonna have those square drains kind of right here in front of the machine that we're gonna gather water off the sidewalk and take them over what we've decided is our little bucket here our little yard drain right here in front of me if you can see it yep that guy right there um, we're gonna tie into the backside and then we're gonna slope where I'm sitting towards that drain and we think we can get this whole thing to drain without actually having to put in those square drains which will save a little money and be more convenient and all of that so so i'm working on backfilling and putting the yard back together so i'm hopeful that within the next 45 minutes to an hour probably an hour that we'll be out of here which puts me home in time for dinner which is always exciting so because this isn't deep and it is that styrofoam um, the goal is going to be to straddle the trench, so I will cross, I think I'm going to cross sideways and then try to straddle it, that way I'm not over top of it mashing down on the styrofoam. Alright guys, I'm going to keep rolling with this because I have nothing exciting to talk about because I'm literally just grading and trying not to damage the yard too bad to save on restoration. So this is my life for the next 45 minutes to an hour. So I will catch you guys probably with the end of the day wrap up because once this is uh, once this is all graded out and we got all our shit put away, we're gonna be out of here for today. So I'll catch you guys here in a little bit. All right, everybody, here for the end of day wrap up. As you can tell, still cold, but now I'm a lot muddier because Rick, I don't know, Rick made me actually work today. It's like I told him when he said labor, you know, that's like hand you a pipe here and there or hand you the shovel. Let's not actually get down in the hole and labor up guys so here's what we got um, here's our structure that we're gonna tie this gutter to and that gutter behind the dingo those are both gonna come together here in the middle we're gonna tunnel one shot underneath the drive or the uh, sidewalk there and bring it straight across uh, like I was talking about earlier we were gonna put you can see his spray marks there uh, this is where we were gonna put those square drains in but we've actually got this pitch now that's going to be low enough that we can strip this whole area and this will all drain over so we can save putting those in. Um, so that is tomorrow's project is getting, you know, all of this tied together. Sorry, let me back up so you can see. Getting all of this tied together and brought across so it will tie in here. That's tomorrow's project. We struggled with the little sausage drain tile pipe here. You can see there that it's covered in that styrofoam so that it drains really well. And you can see this was a giant 
puddle of water. Uh, as you can see, let me brighten you up a little bit so you actually can see. Um, we have moved a lot of water. And as you can see, there's a lot of water still moving, which is neat. So, uh, so this is our pressure line out. Oh, by the way, here's our, these two here. We've got that gutter coming straight across. They teed together with the other gutter that we picked up back over there. Sorry, back up here. Uh, those tee together and come in the side. You can see, obviously, we've getting nothing out of those right now. And then let me go around the hoe here. Pressure line goes all the way out, but we did, we're not sure if it's the sump or what. There was a line here that we just popped basically, oh, I showed you guys earlier where we popped the fitting off of there that clearly had never been actually glued. So tomorrow we're gonna fix that, then we'll bury this over. But yeah, we've basically got this graded out. I don't know, as much as we're really going to, this is all kind of nastiness and over the winter, this is gonna kind of settle. All these chunks will kind of um, become unchunked, if you will. But you can see this is how much water he is getting consistently out of that pipe. Let me dim you down a little bit so it's not quite so bright. That's it. Uh, we're estimating that's roughly 10, 10 gallons a minute or so. And that's after we've pumped it way down. So that's just, that's how much groundwater is constantly running into that hole, which is honestly why they're battling groundwater. It's because the house is sitting at the lake level. It's, there's only so much we could do. But this, in theory, should be able to keep up with most of the big rains that we get around here. And even if it doesn't 100% keep up, it should at least get you through the main part of the rain so that it's not gonna flood into the house, is the idea. So tomorrow, we'll be back, we'll finish her out. We'll get you some more footage. But that's it for tonight, guys. And I'm sorry, but I don't have any cool drone shots. I don't have anything special on this one because what are you gonna do? It's a little dinky drainage job on a yard. So you guys have a good one and we'll catch you in the morning.